resolution number 19 is a resolution appointing an acting chief of police. Make a motion. Second. We have a motion made by um, Mr. Wright. Second by Mrs. Lawrence. Mayor. Yes, Mr. Wright. I'd just like the uh, opportunity to ask the uh, acting chief Tomelski to step forward so we can get him on TV so people can see what their uh, new well, acting like, chief will look I'd like, like to think as he's coming up, it's like the bride. There's no offense. But he's the lieutenant coming up. It's after the resolution passes. Actually, it's not until July. 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 Oh. Well, you're going to go back, back a lieutenant, too. <laughs> I look forward to working with everybody. Okay, thank you. Any questions anyone wishes to ask? I have included also in uh, everybody's package a uh, copy of uh, uh, Mr. Stamelski's uh, resume. We all just put a lot of faith in you. I'm sure you see. I have a question, Matt. Yes, Mr. Mackey. Did you have any plans to increase diversity in the police department here, in the township, and also what programs would you like to see implemented? What do you mean by the diversity? Guys? Diversity as far as uh, the workforce, uh, more minorities, more females. Well, right now, we did lay off eight officers. I'm still in the future. In the future. In the future. Yes. In, the future. Yes. in the future. Do you have any strategies to improve the morale for yes, the police does. department? Because when they left here at the last township meeting, they were threatening people not making, not following the oath that they had to take. What do you plan on doing to improve that morale? Improve the morale? I plan on some changes. Um, no. And not right off. But some changes to improve the morale. Plus, with the police department losing eight people, that's why the morale's down. Okay. I, I understand they're upset about that. And when I'm working to solve that issue, that is over with now. We're going to start fresh. We're going to start July 1st. We're going to work with them to figure out what their problems are. If they need additional training, we, we have to go uh, out. More community policing stuff that we do. You know, when I have the officers that sit in the car, when I get out of the car, Caucuses, play ball with them, whatever you know. I'm sorry, I'm losing my phone. Um, I've been talking about this on my staff, so now I'm being out with, uh, with the community, community policing aspect of it. That's what I'm going to do now. In reference to diversity, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I would like to see the police department be diverse with hiring and everything like that. But for right now, we're not really hiring. We don't have enough people as it is. We're down by 80. But for the future, yes. I wish you good luck in, in your, your new position, and I hope you can improve the police department because from where I'm sitting and the people in the third ward, they feel as though that there's a lot of improvement that can be made. There is, sir. So good luck. There's a lot of improvement, and it's going to be tough. Thank you. We all wish you well um, in the position, or we wouldn't be supportive of this action. We have faith, and. Um, it's always good to get fresh eyes on situations, and um, I believe it's, it's, it's valid to say that the entire governing body will be supporting you in whatever changes you'd like to see made, whatever you believe really needs to be done. Um, we can be there standing behind you to, to give you the tools to do whatever you feel has to be done or should be done to, to uh, make the department what we all know that it can be. I'm going to need that support. And if anybody has